hi everyone <clears throat> welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to uh, fix your internet if it doesn't work fiber so i'm on fiber but i'm using Vomatel with a free host the first thing to do um if you've tried your best you know all your knowledge is gone exhausted and you haven't won depends on the company you are using so if you're using a free host what you do you go to your browser go to gmail first using a different data connection maybe now using your cell phone data you go to gmail you log in <clears throat> yeah after logging in then second part is you go to you go to your what you go to compose and you say support at a free host okay also you same um uh fiber okay fiber a free, a free host in your case it could be a different um a different company so now you come here and go to subject and say hi my fiber is done okay say so all because i've checked all the fiber what they call all the fiber lights are on all say so all uh, the screen recorder is giving me issue say so all it's giving me issue here okay but okay my thing i think is a little bit bigger okay all lights okay you um i'm not gonna, gonna okay i can say maybe everything is okay but only still but you can say but rotor because the light for the rotor is not okay the rotor is red that's what i'll say because i can't write whatever i want to say because of the screen recorder it doesn't give me a chance to press something let me try to use something small okay my fingers big it uh -huh. light rotor is red light okay i'll say that english you, you understand or oh, you'll understand really or oh, okay so okay okay that's fine so what you do why are you doing this in case there's something wrong sometimes everything can be good but then the problem is like there is something wrong with your what with your with them you get me so in the process you send the email then you start fixing so after doing that you send this email the good thing about them okay after sending that email you quickly go we're gonna pause this video then i show we start on another another section okay so section two we're going getting there uh, let me go stop this okay i'm gonna stop yeah. where's part two part two is very very close here look you come to the router you can see the the the, the 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 um your lights are green what they call red so if it's red it's bad news so but then you can try to switch it off and on so but what i try to do here i try to to go to the fiber box fiber box everything is fine you can see so try to press in this uh, nicely this nicely but sometimes you may also because if you see light one is okay for power light broadband is fine service is fine you get me ethernet is blinking 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 you get me you can take it out when you take it out you can see that it doesn't blink anymore but it doesn't work so you put it in so you can also take out this power to to give fiber box some relax maybe a few seconds or one minute to three maybe it can be heating or stuff then miss uh, 
behaving so after you can you can put it back right remember now we send them the e the what the email so they are busy now also you are busy so if there's something they are fixing it without you knowing right after that you can come here and say okay that is done you can also reboot your modem right okay after rebooting the modem okay also another issue you can do you can restart your modem which i have done already okay okay then you can go to your router down there is a no i want to go step by step so that you also benefit from this video okay some of you maybe it's the first time or the second time or whatever my 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 table is a little bit messed up okay a lot of things are here so i'm trying to take them out so that you guys also can see everything and i have time to okay now what you do you're gonna go down on the router it doesn't matter which router they gave you so down on the router you can go check the you'll see somewhere it see it says address ip address that 192.168.3.1 that one but now i want to show you that routers are a little bit different you get me so don't think always it's gonna be the same ip so it's this one also this router that was our way this is a different router most routers they put in that at the back so you come here you check here also you can see that this ip address is different is one one at the end but now it's all of them 192 one one at the end that one is three one this is one one so different company so you use that depending on your router also it's good you restart your router okay so okay me i use that and i punch it in here 192 when you say it's gonna show you something like this so i'm gonna ask you username and password a username also is at the back of the router in most cases admin admin you get me so mine here it's already i put it before still remember that trying to log in okay i've logged in right since i've logged in uh, also what you have to do is fiber box because we restarted it you have to make sure every light is on so i can go to manage devices you see this okay downgrade whatever privacy open source terminal whatever no you can do this functions you can see when i clicked on functions i need internet whatever system okay i'm gonna go home or internet connection you can see it shows across there's no internet connection sometimes you can go to this activate.afrihost.com and see what it tells you okay it still shows this blank thing okay okay what i need to do here bbc won't show as long as the router is not green okay um more functions there when you click on more functions depending on any router then you look for you can say application what is there you can see function list whatever sleep mode power saving device okay whatever reduce the power okay leave that system setting change login password network time backup rule restore you click on that once you click on that some route is a bit slow once you click on that you might be able to see something i want you to see okay development the router is trying to be slow but the reason why i clicked here i want us to restart even when i click on password it doesn't show me anything
Okay, this way, let me restart it. I'm gonna take it out of power. And also, I can use something simple like a toothpick to, to do what to reset the router to its default. So you use like something like a toothpick, you go at the back, there's always a, a small hole here. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna put, you see that hole? So the hole, this is the hole. When you press that, the router should switch off. Yes, it switched it off. You press it for 13, for 15 seconds. Okay, then it will be back. You leave it, you're gonna see. Yes, it, it's red. Leave it at red. When it's at red, you come back to your PC. To your PC, let me see. Okay, then you go back here. Yeah. yeah, you see it came back. Now it can show something. It triggered itself to another interface. Which doesn't show anything anyway. So, you cancel that. You go here, you agree. You agree. Say so get started. At times it can be slow. Sometimes it can be slow. Let's wait. It's getting there. Okay. You can see now it gives you different stuff, VP, whatever, whatever. Okay. Mac address, PC, whatever. Enter manually. Man, leave it. Leave this. Leave this. Leave this. Leave this. Everything. But if you want to make it, give it a static IP, you could do that. But if you, you say skip, say skip, you skip this step. Ask you away what, what, what. You can see. Gives you a username and password, Wi Fi. You can create your own Wi-Fi. I want to create this one. You get me? Okay. Other stuff, leave it back up wherever I leave it. You go next. It asks for for your security. What, 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 pass key. Okay, let me do this. And I use Birmingham. Same thing here. Okay. Login password is next. Oh, okay. Let's leave that. Let's use this. For your security, please keep password safe. Okay. I'm going to try something. Right. Uh, okay. It gave me something, then let me try this. Confirm new password. Oh. Okay, it tells me to confirm a new password. Okay, I'm gonna use this same password. Say so next. little bit stressful let me take this same password okay I'm gonna use the same password if I see it 
I can see it, but now copying it doesn't give me a chance. Let me see if we can use it. Okay. I'm going to use the same password here. Okay, then say next. Wow, confirm password, match the new password. Okay. I'm going to say. Okay. So, okay. That step we passed it. Okay. Say update, leave that, then say IPv6, IPv4, um, retain current keys, you say next, okay, let's see, but it's trying to restart, While we here, we say next. Okay. Okay, it takes us to get started and all that. Okay, it's fine. Then, but we haven't seen progress. What are we going to see? What is we going to do to make sure that the issue doesn't come from us? It's from maybe AfriHost. I'm going to take out your, what they call, let me see. Uh, let me see, BBC. As long as the router is still red, yellow, whatever, it will never work. You get me? So, you can see. So, now I'm going to take out this line from this cable from fiber. So, then I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take out this. So, this one comes from straight from fiber box. Then I'm going to, okay. I plugged it into my laptop then after that I want to see if I have internet then if I have internet then it's gonna be a different story so let's wait the, the, the cable to activate you can go to activate at afrihost.com Yeah, guys, after doing all that and you see your, your, your internet doesn't work, just know that you have nothing else to do. What you got to do is to be patient because remember in the first time, in the first place, we did send a message to see that we, we don't get any issues thinking that they are from us, yet they are from Vumatel or any service provider. Look, service provider, look, uh, you go to your Gmail again, you see. They responded, that's why. Uh, let me go to Gmail. To go to Gmail. Gmail. Okay, you can see the message we sent, the first message. Uh, this is a, was the autoresponder, this one. Then, when you go back, I don't want to reply, cancel. You can go go back, you can see we send the message, 1928, now 1945, and after somewhere like 15, 17 minutes, they responded and they say, thank you for contacting AfriHost. Please accept our sincere apology. For the inconvenience caused, please note that Vomatel has informed us of the network out outage affecting Vomatel clients in your in city of Johannesburg, Stroke Santin, Marlborough. Yes, that's where we are. 
Vumatel engineers are working on it. Well, you see what's the problem they do? These guys, when they get an issue, they don't even talk to us. And we are the clients. They have to at least send us a message, say, okay, internet is going to be off during this time and this time. But this time they haven't said anything. Even last time it did like that. So we can expect internet to come back maybe after two days. So that's why it's always good to sign a month to month contract when you see that they are giving you trouble then you 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 sign out you see most people they use internet to work so that's the crazy issue guys you've seen that there's no problem with your internet but the internet the, the pro issues come from them thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video but if it wasn't the case then those things i've showed you in the video they should fix your issue thanks for watching and see you in the next video